In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from a RAD tab strip to the new and improved RAD page view control introduced in the Q2 2010 release of RAD controls for WinForms. So as you can see, I currently have opened a simple WinForms application that contains a single RAD tab strip control. In the first tab, there is a RAD scheduler. In the second tab, I've placed a RAD grid view. And in the third tab, I've placed a RAD chart. Well, let's go ahead and update this application to use a RAD page view control instead of the old RAD tab strip. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the application and jump into Visual Studio's Forms Designer. And let's go ahead and start the conversion process by resizing the RAD tab strip to make room for our new RAD page view control. So I'm going to go ahead and drag out a RAD page view from the toolbox now, place it in our form, go ahead and resize it so it's easier to work with. And the first thing I want to show you is that this control actually has different view modes. If I click this drop down, we can see that it supports a strip view mode, which is very similar to a RAD tab strip. It also supports a stack view mode and an outlook view mode. Well, since we're converting from a tab strip, we're going to want it to look like a tab strip as well. So I'm just going to leave it in its default view mode, which is the strip view mode. So I'll go ahead and exit out of the smart tag now. And well, let's jump back in one more time. I need to make sure to add three pages to this control. Each page will be representative of a tab. So I'll go ahead and click Add Page three times. And here are our three tabs. And I also need to update these tabs to contain the corresponding names. So let's go ahead and update the first one. Come down here in the Properties window to the Text property. And the first tab is going to contain the RAD scheduler. So let's go ahead and say RAD scheduler tab. And then for the second tab, let's go ahead and update this one to be RAD grid view tab. And then finally, our third tab will be RAD chart tab. And now that I have my RAD page view set up, it's time to begin the process of moving the controls from the old RAD tab strip over to my RAD page view. And I'm actually going to use a docu the document outline window to do this. You could uh, just physically dra drag these items uh, manually inside of the forms designer, but I think the document outline is a lot easier to work with. So to open that, I'm actually going to come up here to view other windows, and then I'm going to select document outline. And as you can see, this is just basically an outline of all of the form, all of the controls that are contained on our form. So here's the RAD page view control. And as you can see, these are the three pages. And then here's the old RAD tab strip. And it contains three tabs or three content panels that contain uh, the items that we want to move over. So I'm actually going to move over our scheduler first. And I can just simply do this straight right inside of the document outline. So I'm going to click and drag RAD Scheduler 1, and we're going to place it in the first page of our page view. So I'll just drop it right there. And if we switch over to the first page, you can see that the RAD Scheduler is now being displayed in the RAD page view. So I also need to move over the RAD Scheduler Navigator and place it in there as well. And as you can see, if I expand this control now a little bit, uh, the RAD Scheduler is actually showing up behind the RAD Scheduler Navigator. To fix that, I can actually just select the RAD scheduler in the document outline and click the up button to move it up in the container because the way things are laid out is actually based on uh, their order inside of this document outline. So let's go ahead and update the RAD grid view tab now. So I'm going to switch to both of those. And to move it over, I'm simply going to select the RAD grid view inside of the document outline click it and drag it over to page two. And as you can see, it just jumped right over there. And then finally, let's do the RAD chart tabs. So again, I'm just gonna select RAD chart, drag it into page three. And as you can see, it just jumped right over there as well. So now that our RAD tab strip is empty, I can just go ahead and erase it from the form. And I'm gonna resize our page view to take up all of the space in the form. And now you also may have noticed that uh, the RAD page view actually features a control box here in the top right. Well, I want this to look exactly like the old tab strip did because I don't need any extra added functionality in my application. So I can actually remove this control box 
And to do that, I'm just simply going to click on the smart tag, and down here we can see that there's a strip buttons property, and it's currently set to auto. I'm going to go ahead and select that and set it to none. And as you can see, that control box disappeared, and now our application looks exactly as it did before, but this time using the new red page view control. So let's go ahead and run this application and take a look at it in action now. And as you can see, here's the rad chart tab, and I can switch over to the rad grid view tab to see the rad grid view. And then finally, I can switch over to the rad scheduler tab to see the rad scheduler. So that's basically all it takes to convert from the old rad tab strip control to the new and improved rad page view control included with the Q2 2010 release of rad controls for WinForms. Thanks for watching.